The USNS Comfort is now treating patients in New York. And Comfort is exactly what that hospital ship is bringing New Yorkers. Feeling the presence of the United States military here just gave me a sense that things were going to be okay. Um, and just it's such a moving sight. The ship is so impressive. It just looming there in our harbor, you know, was like a beacon of hope. The ship isn't the only military asset treating New York patients this week. The Army Corps of Engineers helped turn the massive Jacob Javits Convention Center in Manhattan into a temporary hospital for nearly 3,000 patients. The nice thing about convention centers, you might not know this, every 10 feet there's a great big steel door on the floor. You open it up and in there is all the electrical, there's cold water, there's hot water, and there's a place for sewage. So you can actually do things like sinks right in the middle of a convention center to be able to make that happen. The Comfort and the Javits Center are for non-coronavirus patients to make room for contagious COVID patients in local hospitals. But the general says the Army Corps of Engineers is building three other temporary hospitals in New York that will have the self-contained spaces needed to care for coronavirus patients. In all, his team is looking into 114 facilities across the country for temporary hospital sites, including the massive McCormick Place Convention Center in Chicago. They've even found a way to make that space usable for treating COVID-infected patients. We're bringing the pressure down in the entire convention center. It's going to be lower pressure. Keeps all the containment in. On the West Coast, the Mercy Hospital ship continues to take in Los Angeles patients. And the National Guard has deployed thousands across the country to help deliver testing kits and administer the tests. But the military isn't immune to the virus. Hundreds of service members have tested positive, too, including more than 100 on board the USS Theodore Roosevelt aircraft carrier. Carla Babb, VOA News, Washington.